peace be to you in Jesus name It was Christmas morn marked by the biting cold of winter However the snow around the place was red in color It was not the Christmas decoration It was the blood of German and British soldiers of first world war That morning the British soldiers were surprised by Christmas wish of German soldiers in English first they thought that it was a crooked trick of the Germans soon they saw them unarmed in no man's land they shook hand and wished each other the warmth of christmas shared plum pudding cigarettes sang carols and songs some german soldiers lit christmas trees close to their trenches they forgot the rivalry that day and took holiday from bloodshed because it was the birthday of the prince of peace one of the constant greetings of the recent christ was peace be with you if we glance through scriptures we understand that one of the attributes of messiah was the prince of peace jewish people ardently believed that messiah would reestablish the throne of david and they would enjoy peace forever in the book of prophet zechariah we read prophecy concerning this future prince of peace he shall speak peace to the nations his rule shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth zechariah chapter 9 verse 10 when jesus was born the good news that angels shared with the shepherd was glory to god in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased luke chapter 2 verse 14 on passion sunday we commemorated jesus entering into jerusalem as prince of peace but jewish religious leaders failed to recognize this prince of peace and considered him a cause of mutiny and crucified him why did jesus give this greeting of peace again and again to his disciples after the death of jesus disciples were more frightened than before they feared that any time jewish authorities could arrest and punish them therefore this greeting of jesus had a profound meaning for them it was not a mere salutation from the part of jesus rather it was a reminder for them to live in the light of resurrection in today's gospel we see how jesus calmed down their troubled mind he breathes the holy spirit and strengthen their fragile will he commissioned them with the divine authority to forgive sins jews ardently believed that only god can forgive sins jesus handed over this divine authority to his apostles so that they may become his merciful face to all whom they are sent we see Thomas's first encounter with the risen Christ Jesus invites him to experience his risen body because he knew that Thomas was disturbed in the heart of heart he could not witness the first apparition of the risen Christ all these gestures of Jesus were meant to empower them so that they could live in peace even when their surroundings are troubled by various factors therefore the peace that jesus offers is not a cozy and comfortable life we see apostles other disciples and early christians how much they had to suffer for their faith they had to live in a constant threat of the persecution however they could experience 
an eternal peace and serenity because their life was filled with peace of the risen Christ that they were not alone and one who conquered death was with them today we celebrate the divine mercy sunday the revelation that jesus gave to saint faustina his secretary of divine mercy to trust in his unconditional mercy and to experience his peace in our lives jesus revealed to her this message my child life on earth is a struggle indeed a great struggle for my kingdom but fear not because you are not alone i am always supporting you so lean on me as you struggle fearing nothing take the vessel of trust and draw from the fountain of life for yourself but also for other souls especially such as are distrustful of my goodness dear friends today jesus shares the same greetings to all of us at this moment of our lives we may be experiencing problems that disturb our peace of mind we need to recognize the risen savior one who can transcend our problems and be present with us let us surrender all our fears anxieties and elements of doubt at his feet and let us prepare ourselves to receive his spirit so that we may become the face of divine mercy to whom ever we come in contact may the divine mercy touch and transform our lives jesus we trust in you amen